and welcome back to my video. Today I want to talk about my top three tips for going into nursing school. Hands down, the most asked question I get in general is, I'm going into nursing school. What advice do you have for me? What tips do you have? What do you recommend? And so these are going to be my top three tips for everyone. So everyone that asks me this question in the future, I'm just going to refer them to this video. Uh, anyways, let's get started. So my number one tip for nursing school is to be organized. And I know that sounds super silly and like obvious to a lot of people, but you'd be surprised how unorganized so many people are going to nursing school. So when you get your nursing schedule, write it out on a planner or a calendar for the entire semester so you know what days you have class, what days you have clinical, what times they are from, and then when you start your classes and you get your syllabus of what dates your tests are going to be on, when assignments are due, write every single one of those due dates and test dates in your calendar, in your planner, so that way you know your entire semester plan, basically, of when things are going to be due, when your classes are, when your clinicals are, and you can budget your time accordingly. I honestly don't know how I would survive life without a planner. Actually, a little funny story, one of my coworkers that I work with, so she also has a planner that she writes, you know, her work days and her life schedule in, and she wrote on the inside cover of it, please call, and she wrote her phone number, if found, because she was like, I can, I can never lose this thing, and if I do lose it, I hope someone finds it and calls me, and I will go pick it up from them, because she is that dependent upon her calendar, but I think that's a totally normal and fine thing because that's how she stays organized and that's what works for her and um, I know it works for a lot of people but just find a method, be organized and stick with it. My next nursing school tip is to have a routine and I know again you guys are gonna be like that's so obvious but hear me out. So many people try to make these big drastic changes to their routine while they're going through nursing school, which is already a stressful enough event in and of itself. My mom used to say to me, one big life change at a time. Basically meaning like, don't try and change all these things in your life all at once. Do one at a time and then move on and do the next thing because else you're just going to get overwhelmed. So nursing school is a big change. It's already overwhelming in and of itself. And so have a good routine and um, a healthy life balance. Now, I'm not saying that if you're like a total lazy bum and you're just eating fast food all the time and not exercising, not drinking water, not sleeping, that you shouldn't make some changes in your life because that's your routine. Probably should make some healthy alternative choices, um, but have healthy life balance. So yes, school's gonna take up a lot of your life and maybe work's taking up a lot of your life. Make sure you have a routine of other things that you do to balance your life, whether it's take a nap, maybe cook dinner, maybe hang out with friends, go to a movie, make sure you're taking that time for yourself in your routine. People used to think I was crazy in nursing school because I would get up before nursing school and like work out, go on a run, and then I'd come to class and the class would start at 7 a.m. and it was like a 45 minute drive. So I was up really early, but that was my routine, that's what I was used to, and that's how I functioned better, was to get up, work out, and go on my merry way and I felt more set and ready for the day um, and not everyone's like that and that's totally fine but whatever you do stick with your routine. My third and final tip for nursing school is to have a solid study foundation routine schedule whatever you do and stick with it. Find resources that work for you and stick with it. My favorite resource for nurses and nursing students is the NRSNG Academy, which I will have linked down below. And I love it because it's a comprehensive resource for nursing school. So you can use it for your pharmacology course, you can use it for your labor and delivery course, you can use it for your fundamentals of nursing course, and you can use it even after nursing school as well as a resource. So that has to be my number one resource, but find resources and study methods that work for you and stick with it. And if it's not working for you, don't be afraid to make adjustments. If you're the type of person that reads the textbook, goes to class, takes notes, comes home and rereads your notes, rewrites your notes, and then maybe makes flashcards from them, and you're doing well on the test in nursing school, then stick with that. If that's not working for you, then change it up. But 
If you are not a flashcard person, then don't force yourself to make flashcards if that's not going to work for you. Anyways, those are my three nursing school tips for you guys. I hope you enjoy. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any other tips, which I know there's a lot of other tips, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.